Hey girl, hey, happy Thursday. The work week is almost done. Actually, the work day is almost done. I'm getting ready to head out of here. But before I do, I wanted to hop on because I wanted to elaborate um, on my social media post that I made earlier today um, about creating boundaries. Um, boundaries <laughs> are our promise to ourselves that we are going to um, protect our peace that we are going to surround ourselves um, ourselves with things that serve us. Um, it is a promise to ourselves that we are creating an environment for the woman that is inside of us, that is begging to come out of that soil, that we are giving her the space that she needs to grow. She is not going to be able to, glow, to grow and flourish when she is surrounded by pollution. So in order for her to grow, we must give her the environment to do so. Um, and this was all prompted by a Facebook post that I had made some years ago um, to the effect of people treat you how you allow yourselves to be treated. Um, and we've been in relationships. I've been in relationships, friendships, uh, familial relationships where, you know, you just question yourself of why does this person treat me like this and why are they doing this to me? And the answer is simple because you allow it because we've allowed it. And how we disallow it is we create these boundaries. Um, one of the best ways to create boundaries, in my opinions, is the word no. Um, a lot of times we say yes to things that we really don't wanna do. Uh, we agree to be in environments that we really don't wanna be in simply because we don't wanna hurt the other person's feelings. Um, but what we end up doing is we end up having to alter our feelings and our emotions and our energies uh, to serve somebody else's purpose. And, and how fair is that to you uh, to alter your energy in order to make somebody else happy? It's not fair. Um, saying no removes the obligation for future <laughs> tasks. If you're asked to do something on your job and you know you just do not have the, 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 the capacity and the, and, and the, and the bandwidth to, to, to take on that task, say no. Because what's going to happen is when you say yes to that one task, that one task becomes another task and another task. And before you know it, not only do you have the deadlines and the projects that you were working on before, now you have this thing that's not even part of your department that you have attached yourself to. Where it could have all been avoided had you just said, no, no, I'm unable to handle any more tasks right now. Thank you for considering me, but no, this is not something that I'm willing to take on at this moment. And guess what? They will either accept it and go select somebody else to do it, or they won't accept it and go select somebody else to do it. <laughs> either way, you are not being put in a situation that you're not comfortable with being put in. The other two ways uh, to protect your boundaries is communication. And I, I want to pinpoint the receiving and the giving, both sides of that coin. If you know that you have had a bad day or that you are not in a mental space to deal with anybody else's mess and you know who calls you, you already know what they're calling for. You've seen them on Facebook posting about it. Y'all been talking about it. You know what they're calling for. Why are you going to answer the phone? If you know that you are like this. All right, let me get myself together. If you have to get yourself together. <laughs> to answer the phone, to talk to somebody, then maybe it's best that you not answer the phone. Because if I have to do this and mentally prepare myself, I don't even know if I want to talk to them. I am already causing myself unnecessary stress and angst, just the mere fact of seeing their name pop up on my phone. So why would I then answer the phone to introduce more anxiety and more angst into my space? So protect your boundary by choosing not to answer the phone. You can respond with a text. Hey, I'm not available right now. I'll call you or text you back when I have a moment. And they're either going to call somebody else <laughs> or they're going to sit and be patient and wait for you to call. Or here's one better. They're going to learn how to deal with their own mess. See, we like to answer the phone. Some of us like to answer the phone because we want to be nosy and hear about what's going on. Without realizing it, when you pick that phone up, you are saving them from their mess. 
because they don't have to deal with their mess. They don't gave it to you to deal with. So now you in your house, either by yourself or with your significant other or whoever you with, and you got to get off the phone with their mess and then what you do, you take that mess and you give it to them and now y'all got that mess in your house. The other side of that communication, you're the person with the mess. You call your good, good girlfriend, you call your mother, you call your sister, you call whoever is willing to pick up their phone. Because at that point, you just need to talk. You call them and you just go. Have you ever thought that maybe, just maybe, it ain't all about you? And that person on that other end of the phone got some own their own mess that they're dealing with. And maybe, just maybe, their garage is full of their boxes of their own stuff. Therefore, the U-Haul truck you just backed up in their driveway, they don't have a place to put your stuff. So instead of you trying to put your stuff on them, maybe you need to unpack and deal with your own stuff so you can stop putting it on other people. I know that's a weird way of thinking about boundaries, but... It's a boundary because what it is teaching you is I need to deal with me and I need to deal with my stuff because my stuff is now affecting other people and becoming a part of their stuff. That's a boundary that you're creating within yourself. And if you really need to unload your stuff, Maybe that person's not the person that you need to unload it with. Maybe you need to unload it with a therapist, a coach, a counselor, someone else who has the capacity to hold your stuff and help you go through your stuff, help you eliminate your stuff, help you fix your stuff. You all be blessed. Have an amazing day amazing amazing thursday it's time for me to go get this tennis ball trimmed which is what i'm getting ready to do now <laughs> you all be blessed be blessed and i'll talk to you later bye